morning, an Albuquerque teen is dead and his classmate is now facing charges after a shooting in the parking lot of Atrisco Heritage High School last night. News 13's Jessica Barone gives us a look in the details in the newsplex. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office says 16 year old Elijah Paul Morphin died after he and his classmate were playing with a gun in the high school parking lot. Officials with Albuquerque Public Schools says more needs to be done to end the violence. Incredibly sad and I'm angry and I'm frustrated that we're here. Albuquerque Public Schools Superintendent Scott Elder couldn't hold back his disappointment regarding last night's shooting, calling it senseless and tragic. Gun violence is dominating the news every day. We have to understand the risk of leaving guns and storing guns where students have access to them. But we keep coming back to have the same, same press conference. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office says the shooting happened last night, shortly after 9.30 in the school's parking lot. Officials say 16-year-old Elijah Paul Morphin and 16-year-old Adrian Martinez were both juniors on the school's football team. While it's unclear what led up to the shooting, officials believe the two students met up after a basketball game and began playing with a firearm in a car. That's when they say it accidentally went off, injuring Paul Morphin. Well, it appears the shooting was accidental. The investigation is ongoing. And the findings don't change the fact that Elijah's gone. And this classmate's life has been changed forever. According to court documents, Martinez and another teen took Paul Morphin to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Deputies say Martinez ran off on foot and was later found at a diner. Today, the principal for our Trisco Heritage stressing the fact talking to your kids is no longer enough and more has to be done to keep guns out of their hands. At this stage, we need to go a little deeper. We need to look at our students, check our rooms, check their rooms, check their cars, check their backpacks because innocent kids have guns. Adrian Martinez has been detained and is currently facing charges, including involuntary manslaughter. Atrisco Heritage will also be increasing their police presence on Monday. Back to you. Okay, Jessica, all basketball games at Atrisco Heritage were canceled today while the Sheriff's Office continues their investigation.